So what source of protein is the best? This is a tricky question. And for the most part, given that the quantity of protein is sufficient, the quality of the protein, as I'll explain in a moment, isn't really important. However, it does appear that animal protein, which as I'll demonstrate is higher quality, appears to increase the amount of weight that we will gain. That is lean mass or muscle mass compared to fat mass. In essence, for every 10 pounds of weight that you gain, you might gain more muscle and less fat consuming animal protein compared to plant protein. And the times where protein quality actually becomes important. If you are on a very low protein or calorie diet, or as we begin to age, because the anabolic or muscle building properties of protein begin to become reduced as we age, therefore we would want to opt for higher quality proteins. And the quality of protein is simply depicted by the amount of amino acids it provides, the digestibility of these amino acids, and how well the ratio of different amino acids fits our biological needs. And these factors can be summarized in the DIAAS score, which gives different protein sources a score based upon their digestibility and how well the ratio of amino acids that we digest meets the ratio of amino acids that we require. Thus, sources of protein that may be extremely high in certain amino acids but low in others, which is typically true of different plant-based sources, will actually be demonstrated as having a lower score because they do not match our biological requirement as well. But if you're consuming multiple different foods, you will likely derive these limiting amino acids elsewhere. Therefore, when it comes to consuming a plant-based diet, in order to get adequate amino acids and protein, you're probably going to be better off eating a more diverse array of foods. However, in scenarios in which you need the highest quality protein, we look to the DIAAS score, which actually indicates that whole milk powder is the highest quality protein source, followed by milk protein concentrate and then whole milk. Following this up for the first whole food source is going to be eggs, then beef, followed by chicken breast. But possibly even better than chicken breast would be whey protein isolate. And the highest quality plant-based source of protein would be a soy protein concentrate. And the highest whole food source would be soy and pea protein, followed by wheat and soy protein isolate. I think the DIAAS score can be important for, again, those individuals on low calorie or low protein diets, individuals trying to maximize every aspect of performance, or individuals who are aging that require higher quality and higher amounts of protein in order to get the same anabolic or muscle building response. With that being said, I hope you found this interesting. And if you want to learn how to take control of your health and energy, send me a DM to sign up for coaching.